Hey YouTube family, today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to go through my favorite 15 to 20 minute morning stretch and wake up routine. So this one's great to get the blood flowing, feeling nice, loose and limber, ready to tackle whatever tasks we have into that morning and into the afternoon. And we're going to really focus on things that I find tight when I wake up, my hips, my hamstrings, a little bit of my back. So it's going to feel really nice to open those areas up and get ready for that first coffee of the day or maybe have it at the same time. So without further ado, let's get started. We're going to do this entire, I should have said entire stretch routine on our butts because if you're anything like me, standing up sometimes in the morning just doesn't feel right. So before we do that, we can even do this one in bed. So sitting on our butts to start. Okay, remember to take it nice and easy, especially if you're doing this right when you woke up, which is great. Okay, but we don't want to push too hard with anything. Our muscles have literally been inactive for however long we slept. So relax, take your time and feel the body wake up. Okay, reaching up and then we're reaching down as far as we can. It's okay to not grab the feet, but I do like to pedal them out a little bit. Wake up the ankles. Might be some snap, crackle, snap, crackle or popping going on here, which is fine. And then we're gonna bring our hands behind us. And for the first one, I like to clasp my hands. This one might feel a little tough at first, but it feels oh so good. It's gonna open up the chest. Maybe lean forwards a little bit, side to side. There's no wrong movement here. Just take it slow to feel that body wake up. And let it go for the next one. I'm gonna fold again. We are gonna focus a lot on those hamstrings. I like to turn my feet in a little bit with this and see if I can grab the outside of my ankles, maybe even the outside of my feet, and it's gonna help my back just open a little bit while I reach forwards. And let it go. We're gonna, we're gonna reach behind. This one we're gonna focus one side at a time too. So our hands are gonna be on the ground, palms face back. We're gonna pull our elbow in and then lean into it. You can even lift the butt a little bit to put more weight into it if it feels good. But remember, we just wanna feel opening up a little bit in that chest. Uh, so nice. And let's do one more fold here. Maybe by this one we're straightening the legs. Maybe we're keeping them bent the whole time too. I do this a lot, so my legs are gonna be straight here, but there's no wrong way to do it. Just try to reach as far as you can down with that stomach. Keep the feet turned in if that felt good. And let it go and bring the other hand. Let me turn a little bit for you guys. Other hand behind you. Good. Pull the elbow back, twist into it a little bit. Let that chest open. Open chest, god damn it. And relax, good. Now we're gonna tuck one leg in here. If you have a belt or anything you wanna to use to grab onto your foot, that's great. Okay, if not, use your hand to pull onto your arm. I um, want us to turn sideways and reach over our head. Grab, you can use the other hand to open up the chest even more and stretch out through the lats. And for my side sleepers, this is super important. And up, now we're gonna play with this leg a little bit. So hands on the ground behind you, just try to put anywhere your foot can come to the floor here too. You're gonna take the elbow and push into the knee and feel that hip open. And let it go, we're gonna do that stretch again, but this time instead of reaching over, you can do that again if it felt really good, but I'm gonna twist a little bit into it and then reach and twist into the lower back a little bit with this stretch. But again, keeping the stretch on the hamstring. Hamstrings are the keys to all movement. So the first thing we wanna do when we wake up is we wanna unlock with those keys. And up, and then we'll bring that leg back again, push the knee open. Side. We're going to extend that leg and try to keep that twist and then reach down again if we can, just as far as feels good. Big open movements feel great in the morning, ready to tackle that day. And you'll find I'm holding the stretches a little bit less in the morning, 
than I would for a Nike stretch. I'm gonna hold a bit longer, let my body really wind down and just take the shape of whatever surface I'm on. All right, let's do the other side. I tuck one leg in. Good, I'm turning sideways. I'm reaching over. This side's a bit tighter for me, but I'm still trying to lengthen out through the side. I can use my other arm to push to give myself more anchor for that side stretch. And let it go, or hold that a bit longer if that feels really good. Put on the floor and push the knee open. And bring it back. Now we're gonna twist, so take that hand, grab the outside of the leg. Maybe you can get to the foot. Maybe that's not there this morning. Every morning's gonna feel just a little different, I find. And we're gonna twist and keep the stretch on the hamstring. it open and maybe extend and reach down again and bring it back very good all right we're gonna start a little bit with the hips then we'll go again to open up one more little sequence at the end after this so we're gonna cross over wrap around my favorite seated glute stretch twist maybe even grab the floor behind you and try to open up again with that chest again with the hamstring and then we'll do a bit more hip with it too so my ankle is just a bit above my knee sometimes I like to really pull my foot up a little bit more to get a deeper hip stretch but again I'm gonna reach down for that straight leg to feel the hamstring again too so honestly one of my all-time favorites stretching the hip and the hamstring at the same time just, is there any better combination and up. Now we're gonna bend it, and again, I'm gonna stay seated. My hands will be on the ground to deepen the stretch. We're gonna add a little bit of core in here just to start flowing the blood through the rest of our body too. So we're gonna feel a little fold, bring the chest as close as we can to that shin, and then we're gonna go for five. We're gonna extend the leg up and back, get a bit closer. And again, up and back, get a bit closer. And again, up. And back, maybe a bit closer. Two more, ready, up. And back, and a bit closer. And last one, up. And back, and relax, shake out that leg. All right, let's do the other side. Cross it over, wrap around, maybe tuck the other leg in. Twist, even reach behind if you'd like to open up that chest even more. the ankle crossed over you can always push up you can put a pillow here if you like to to give yourself a little more cushion between ankle and thigh and reaching down and relax all right now bend that knee hands wherever you want them behind you for support and it might not be nearly this folded too especially when you guys wake up, but over time it'll feel easier and easier every morning, but try to feel just a nice activation and glute, uh, and stretch in the glute on that crossed over leg. And then when you extend this leg and really tighten the abs, I want you to try to keep it just as tight as you can, even if it comes down all the way straight. Let's try to activate through the core. Ready, and extend. And back, deep in the stretch. And extend. And back, deepen it again. And three, and back, and four, flex that heel up, and back, you'll feel the quad squeezing a little bit too, last one, extend, and back, 
and sitting on the floor. Very nice. We're going to go through one more little sequence here. We'll do a little bit of quads. Open up the hips a little bit more. And I want you to try to feel your abs engaging here too. When we reach forwards, because the more blood flow, the faster that body's going to wake up. So we're going to be in a butterfly here. Feel free to put a pillow under your butt if you're feeling a little tight this morning. So we're going to take one hand behind us and the other is going to push that knee down as we twist into it. Try not to let the other knee come up. With your core, just try to reach forwards as far as you can. Remember, it doesn't need to deepen super far. The goal in the morning is to flow the blood. And for that, we want to keep some muscles engaged as we reach. And back. And let's do the other side before we open up. Push the knee down. Twist. Let it go and open up. Or sorry, reaching for us before we open up. And sitting up, good. All right, let's open up those legs now. So if you're doing this on the bed, you might have to position yourself a little bit differently too. Okay, we're gonna try to reach forwards, nice straight back when we reach here. So we have some tension in our abs, now we want some tension in our back to keep ourselves from rounding too much. Bring the legs in. We're going to do that again one more time, but we're going to go back and stretch our quad a little bit before we do it again. So the leg comes back, kind of like we did with the open stretch, but instead of pushing open, we're going to let the knee come down. And then for this one, we can lean back and back. So I'm on the instep here because I'm stretching more into the middle part of the quad, into the inside. Just let yourself recline until you feel the stretch. You might be lying all the way flat. Maybe your quads are way more flexible than mine. up let's do it again open we're almost there but the amount of time it takes to drink a, a hot coffee reach remember to keep that back nice and strong don't let it round yet it's more of a night thing I find too it helps me wind down I just relax And back up, and let's wrap this up. Quad stretch on the other side. So foot to the outside, let the knee come in. And then from here, just bring the lower back down. And we can always add a little chest opening in all these stretches by pulling our elbows behind us. And relax, very nice. Take a couple deep energizing breaths. Okay, visualize ourselves crushing this day, whatever tasks we have to do. And now your blood is flowing, your body's ready to get going. And that's a great way for us to wake up. I love working that in the morning when I have a spare 15 minutes before I have to go do anything, especially if I'm out on a trip and I don't have access to this great dojo, which I live right beside. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, let me know what parts you liked, uh, what parts felt good, maybe what parts didn't quite, uh, quite feel so awesome. And I love making these videos for you. So if you have any other niche videos you guys want to see before bed or any other type of stretches or movements, I'd love to hear it. And please don't forget, subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. And I'll see you guys later.